Okay, uh, 730 seconds appears to be the right size hole. So I think I'm going to drill six of these. Be careful not to go all the way through the top part of the lid. spray on until after I drill the holes. Probably wouldn't be a bad plan to hit it again. Okay, so there's that. There's my expanding foam. You can pick this up at a hardware store or big box store. Okay, and Perfect. That's right in there. Okay, I can see it coming out the other hole already, so it must be spreading around quite a bit. wait for this stuff to dry. I guess I'll let it go overnight and then we'll remove the excess and then we'll do the experiment all over again. We'll see what happens. Okay after a few minutes this is what it looks like. So you can see that the foam's already starting to expand and I decided that adding foam can't hurt. I don't know how much it's going to help but I uh, decided to hit this Coleman cooler do the same kind of thing and then uh, this is another uh, Coleman I believe and uh, learned an important lesson you can see this big big bunch right there always drill at least two holes that allows the uh, pressure to escape uh, if you just drill one like I did in this case and then you pull out the uh, the dispenser straw then uh, you have a foam explosion on your hands and so uh, don't do that so always drill at least two holes, that way the pressure can be relieved from another hole. Alright, I'm going to let these dry for a day and uh, clean them up and then I'm going to do the 16 pound bag of ice experiment with the uh, igloo cool cooler one more time, let it go for two more days and then we'll see if there's any, any uh, appreciable difference. Okay, so I did the foam treatment to it. Um, and it's been almost two days. Uh, I don't know how clear this is in the camera, if you can see it. Be sure that you put a lot of escape holes in here. Um, this actually swelled. I was afraid it wouldn't close, so I added this extra clasp. Um, but it's been two days with the foam, and so I'm going to tear open the. Uh, bag of ice slash water and let the rest of the water drain out and then measure it. I don't have high hopes that this is uh, any better than the uh, than the previous experiment, but we're about to find out. Okay, decent little amount of ice left. Alright. 
This thing holds uh, four quarts at a time. All right. Make sure I'm still in the shot. I think I am. Same seven quarts. Just got ice in the uh, in the drain hole, so we'll just pour this in. Well, okay. So I don't know how scientific this is, but uh, bottom line is I tried putting foam in the lid. Put a 16-pound bag of ice before I did the foam. I got seven liters of water out of it. And this has some ice in it. Scoop the ice out. And then look. And it's got. That's three liters, so three plus four is seven. So, no change. So. If you live in southeast Tennessee and uh, you do this experiment in July, um, your ice is just going to melt in the cooler. I don't care what you've got. You can buy a Yeti if you want to. Uh, I bought the competitor that parked the cooler. It lost as much water as this igloo did. And uh, it didn't cost, the igloo didn't cost nearly what the other did. And, if you do this foam stuff, it makes a big giant mess and uh, can swell your lid so that it has trouble sealing. So, my opinion is it's not worth doing. Just take the cooler for what it is and uh, you get a decent, decent cooler, it's a decent cooler. So, I don't think you have to spend the extra money. Anyway, um, hope this was helpful to somebody. Cheers.